What's up guys, Josh here from everydayfba.com. Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up your custom domain and email quickly and easily to system.io. This is the process that you can do yourself, no need to outsource it to anybody. I just went and got a brand new domain over here from GoDaddy. I'm gonna walk you through the complete process. You can do this in the next 15 minutes. Inside your system.io settings, you're gonna find it on the left-hand side, custom domains. Go ahead and click on this blue button that says add a domain. And this little box is going to pop up. You're simply going to type in your domain and then hit the save button. Another box will pop up and you'll take this information over to GoDaddy and plug it into your DNS settings. So let's add this first record to GoDaddy. And the good news is, is this record already exists. We just have to change out the target. So we're going to copy the target here. Copy that, go over to GoDaddy, scroll through the records that you have, and we're looking for one that says C name, and then it says www, C name, and www. Right now, this is the existing target or value. We're gonna edit that. So over here, we're gonna click on this pencil, and where it says value, we're gonna input that information, and then we'll just simply hit save. And that's going to update for us. Now we can move on to adding that second. For the second record, we have to do a little bit more work. So on this first section right here, we're going to copy everything up until you get to that period. Stop at that first period, but copy everything else besides that. This is what we're going to take over to GoDaddy. We're going to add a new record this time. We're going to choose the type, which is CNAME. Then we're going to paste this information right in under the name. Again, we're copying everything here up until we get to that first period. Now we're gonna grab this second target right here. We'll copy the whole thing, including the period, and that's what we're gonna paste into the value section. So we'll just hit save, and that should give us an all good to go. We have already implemented these two things. The next thing we need to do is to set up a forward. So we're going to navigate over to this tab right here that says forwarding. We'll click on that, and domain forwarding is where we want to go. So we'll put add forwarding. And this is where we're going to select HTTPS, make sure it is secure. And then you're going to put in your uh, website right here. So www.bizreviewpro.com. And we are going to go with permanent. And then when that's all good, we're just going to hit save. And that's done. Lastly, just to make sure everything is looking good, we're going to head over to this website here, dnschecker.org. We're going to plug in our website there, www.bizreviewpro. And we're going to select C name records and we're going to hit search. Now, when we do this, if we get all of these awesome little green check marks, it means we've done everything correctly. We're good to go. Now, inside system.io, you're going to see that the status is still pending validation. That's okay. Just give us some time to validate. We can go ahead and move on to the emails tab over here under your settings. Click on email so that we can validate your email and your domain and make sure that your emails get into your leads inboxes. So we'll scroll down and we'll look for click here to authenticate your domain. Click on that and we'll type in our domain and we'll click save. That domain will get added and it will be under the pending status. We're going to click on this little eyeball. It's going to pop up some more settings. We got to take this information over to GoDaddy once again and plug it in there. So let's add this first one here. It's a CNAME record. We're going to copy everything up until the first period over here back on the GoDaddy account. Click on DNS records once again. And we're going to add a new record, CNAME. And we're going to input that information right in there. Now we go and grab the value which is this right here. We'll copy that, take it back to GoDaddy and paste it as the value. Then of course, simply hit save and that will go ahead and update. We can move on to adding the other three records. For the second one, we'll copy everything until we get to the word key. So after the word key is when you want to stop. So copy that, take it over back to GoDaddy. It's another C name record. Paste that in there, go back, grab the value and take that, paste it in right here, hit save once again. Third record, very similar, copy everything until you get to the word key, copy that, take it back, add a C name record, grab the value, take it over to GoDaddy, paste it in right here, hit save. This last record is a text record, so we're gonna copy this, demark all of that, go over to GoDaddy, add the record, this time we're gonna choose the text, TXT, We'll put in that name, go back, and we'll copy this right here by clicking on that, copy, and we'll paste that in over under the value section and hit save. Now we are done with that.
Over in system.io, once again, you're going to find your status as pending. Give everything some time to update. In the meantime, again, we can go and verify our email address that we're going to be sending from. So click here to confirm your email address. We're just going to input our email there, josh at bizreviewpro. And then we're going to hit save. System.io is going to send you an email that you then need to go in and click the link to verify that that is your email. Here's that email. We're just going to click where it says click here. This box will pop up and we'll click on confirm. That's all set. So I just checked on my domain. The status is now ready to use. So the last thing that we want to do is connect this domain to a funnel. We're going to go over to our website section. I'm going to click on sales funnels and this funnel is the one I'm going to connect it to. We can click the three dots. Click on settings. This will pop up. We can then assign the funnel domain. I'm going to scroll through my list here and look for the new one. There it is. And I'll just hit save. That domain will now be associated with this funnel. So let's give it a test here. I'm going to pop over and just put in my new website bizreviewpro.com hit enter and hopefully it goes right to my site boom there it is we are all set and looking good now guys remember that it can take up to 48 hours for everything to fully validate so please give it some time but if you follow the steps here in this video you've got your custom domain and email set up ready to go if you got any other questions drop them down in the comment section if this video helped you out please throw a like on it and i'll catch you guys on another one if you're just new to system diet and you want some great bonuses look down in the description for everything that i'm going to give you when you get started with system.io i'll catch you guys on that next one peace